Going to the toilet. See you next Tuesday then. Ah, it's a great feeling, Dave, when your wife fucks off and leaves you. It's like a dream come true. My life now is just one big fanny festival. I don't care if they're black, white, yellow or purple, I'd check anyone. Purple? Who's purple? Martians. They're green. Are they? Would you shag a Martian? Yeah, would you? Might as well. I can't remember the last time I shagged a human being. Have you heard this, this fucking sandwich he's got? Tell him. Well, Linda used to put strawberry jam on a twat, so I'd lick her out. Blimey. Listen to this, Felix. Now I'm just addicted to the taste. Fanny juice and strawberries. He's got fucking strawberry jam and fish paste sandwiches. Fucking hell, Tommy. It's the nearest song get to the flavour. Go and have a bite. It's fucking audible. No, thanks. Try it. Tolly. I ain't eating a sandwich that tastes like Linda's twat. Nobody doesn't, though. I mean, that's the problem. Can't quite get the flavour right. Um, King's Heath, you know, paint factory. That's them. And Lazelle's Road. You know about that, don't you? Yeah, you've already given us. Have huh? I? Must have done. Sorry, it's a late night. What, we were up all night watching porn channels again, were you? No, I went round to see uh, Ruth at a flat. Drank a lot of wine, played chess. Talked about books all night, you know what it's like. Anyway, you've, uh, you've got the things, so, uh... Yeah. Good stuff. I went out with this bird once, right? She used to lick me ass. Like, stick her tongue right up my ass, which is great. But then she'd try and snog me afterwards, which is like... Fucking swings and roundabouts, that is. You can't fucking win. I'd hate to think what she has in her sandwiches. Shit, probably. How's my favourite son-in-law? You know what it's like, Joan. You've got all your fingers in a big pie. I can't find my bag. Have you seen my bag? God, Joan, where's your jumper? In the kitchen. You look nice. Why don't you pull your trousers down? Uh... Do you want me to help you? No, no, I can manage. That's a very lengthy type of sausage. Yeah. 
Don't get many complaints. You know about me bad knees, me arthritis, I'm on steroids and that. Why don't I just plonk myself on the table? Yeah, that could work. My mother in law gave me a blowjob last night. And gave me a fishing rod once. At the end, she wiped herself down with toilet paper and put it in the ashtray. Then I was trying to have a fag, and that was the worst bit. You know, flicking the ash onto the wet toilet paper. She's 50, you know, Joe. I've never seen Berica's veins that big. It's a tricky one, that, Felix. I mean, you don't want to upset her or you'll have no work live. I can't afford to move out, Dave. It's just going to keep on happening. Well, there's only one way out of that situation. What's that? I don't know. Just saying, there's probably only one way out of it, but I don't know what it is. I don't pay any rent. Free food, you know, no bills. I'm laughing, really. I can't go on living with my mother-in-law forever. If I was still married, then... Well, I am still married legally, but you know what I mean. At least you're getting blowjobs. Two years ago, the last one I had off Vicky. I don't know what I've done wrong. I'm scared to go home these days. If I wasn't so lazy, I'd... Become a workaholic. Good song. It's a good song. Say it, I'm in. Hi, Phil. How's it going? Not bad, not bad. Still working for Stan? No. There's a few things in the pipeline, though. And I'm thinking of setting up a market stall, selling broken biscuits. It's all happening, then? Yeah. So, uh, you're still scared of wasps? <laughs> it's frightened death of wasps. I'm not scared of them. If they fucking sting you, you know about it. I bought this candy floss once, right? About ten fucking wasps all attacked it. I'm like, fuck off out of it. it. Just got all tangled up in it. Couldn't eat it. Fucking wasps. Cunts. A wasp sting can kill you. That's right. Nice, no, sir. It is, Dave. It's well known. Wasp sting. They can trigger, you know, death in a person. Yeah, but if you didn't have wasps, you wouldn't have honey, so. No, that's bees. Bees make honey. Well, same thing. Little fucking stripy jumpers on. Fuck them. Bees make honey? Since when? Are you fucking serious? Bees and wasps, they invented honey. That's how they became famous. But actually, it's just honeybees that make honey. Honey bees. On Jars of Honey, there's always pictures of bees. Yeah, I know. I thought... I thought honey was just treacle with bees in it. What? But don't they just mix a few bees up in the treacle, flavour it up a bit? I don't know. Fucking hell, Fettis, you don't eat bees. All right, how do bees make honey, then? Phil. They eat flowers, I think. And something to do with eating the flowers produces a honey effect when they spit it out. All insects make sweet substances. Bees make honey and ants make sugar. Do they fuck? They fucking do, don't they, Phil? No. I thought they did. Why didn't you pick Katie from my mum's? Because I meant to. Smell like a pub. Yeah, well, it just gets in your clothes, the smoke and the beer smell. Did you put that flannel on the telly? I had a dirty face and uh, I don't know how it got there. I'm running round after a child all day. I'm not running round after you as well. You're the one who wanted a kid and now you've got one. It's like it's my fault. I wanted a family. And this isn't a family because you're a fucking idiot. Look, I don't even know what I'm arguing about. It's very basic, Dave. It's about being in the house now and again. Being a proper dad. What's wrong with you? You know, we're just going round in circles here. You're not behaving like a human being. No, I know, but who does? You've got to be realistic. You might think this is normal, but I don't. And I'm not going to carry on living like this. If I was a monkey, a male monkey, I wouldn't even be here having this argument. I'd be down the pub getting drunk, shagging loads of female monkeys. That's the natural state of a first for a male in any species. 
this situation here is a relatively modern one and goes totally against nature. I'm telling you, society's under a lot of strain right now. Dev, I can't go on any more with this. You have to get out of here. Twelve months ago today, I met Ruth. It's her anniversary. She's probably forgot, but I'm going to take her out for a nice, expensive slab of meal. Champagne, you know, starters, puddings. Linda never remembered our wedding anniversary or my birthday. I think it was the heroine. Mm. It's hard to keep the romance in a relationship. Men like you and me, Tolly, were a dying breed. I used to put strawberry jam on a twat. Yeah. Dying breed, Tolly. Dying breed. <laughs> You look lovely. Your hair. Sorry, what did you want? I got you these. Hey, don't take this the wrong way. If you don't leave me alone, I will call the police. Why? The last time, Jeremy, go away! All couples have arguments. You're not a couple anymore. How can you go from being really liking me to not wanting to see me? I don't get it. Well, to be honest, Jeremy, I didn't like you that much at any point, so... You've got a new boyfriend, haven't you? Just tell me. I'm gonna walk away. Leave me alone. I'll always love you, Ruth. Fuck off. Give us a ring. Fuck off, Jeremy. Anytime. I like your outfit, by the way. Looks really nice on you. Women, eh? Like a leaf falling from a tree, I fell for you. Gradual. Then suddenly, my insides melt. Your eyes, eyebrows, nose, mouth, everything leading to now. In the lake, my shattered reflection, the million pieces of heartbreak. Be still then, passion. She has turned away, like the winter. My hibernating love, as it warms, the clear shafts of sunlight penetrate your moist fanny with my stiff, meaty love rocket. Fucking bitch. Like I say, you can stay here as long as you like. Yeah, cheers, Tom. Sad, you know, when you've been with someone a long time. Yeah, well, she should have thought of that before she nagged me to death. I'm a young man. I'm only 31, 32. I don't need it told, you know what I mean? I still ain't got over you now when Linda left me. You know what my first thought was? Great, I can shag loads of birds now. But, like, my second thought was, who? Who can I shag? Who exactly am I gonna be shagging? All kinds of thoughts go racing through your mind. Linda was shagging a mental patient behind my back. I remember, yeah. I'll tell you what. I'm going to be sliding down a very steep learning curve. No doubt about it. But from now on, that's it. It's just going to be funny. Blowjobs. Big tits and, you know, beer. That's the kind of lifestyle I want. Sandwich? Cheers, mate. Alright, mate, is uh, Poppy in? No, she's not. That's a shame. Is she alright, though? Who are you? Sorry, mate, I'm Dave. I'm an old friend of Poppy's. What time are you expecting a battle? Not till late, she's at work. Can you give her a message? What? Have you got a pen and a bit of paper? Look, just tell me. You must have some paper. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is important. Alright, the message is from me, Dave. That's D-A-V-E. Just say, with respect to the threesome, yeah, just put threesome, with respect to the threesome, it's a thumbs up. 
It's just that she asked me if I'd be interested, but, you know, I was still with my wife at the time, so... Uh, mind you, I'm going back a bit now. I've not seen Poppy for a couple of years. You know, she could be. You're not her husband, are you? No. This is her mum's house, isn't it? Yeah. Who are you, then? I'm her brother. Oh, nice one, brother. How did that come about, then? What do you mean? Yeah, if you could just pass the message on, that'd be great. I'll just write my number down. There you go. How's your mum, anyway? She died last year. What a shame. Anyway, get puppy, give us a ring as soon as she gets back, cos uh, I've just split up with my wife. Last night, actually. It's taken me a while to adjust, so a threesome with your sister would be superb right now. Tell her it's urgent! Well, you tried it just for once, found it all right for kicks. But now you find out that it's a habit that sticks and you're an orgasm addict. You're an orgasm addict. Sneaking in the back door with dirty might seem. So your mother wants to know what all the stains on your jeans and you're an orgasm addict. You're an orgasm addict. Yeah? Where? What else you wearing? Oh, God, really? What? What am I wearing? Um, a brown jumper, a pair of trousers I got off my dad. They didn't fit him. He got them out of the catalogue and he couldn't be bothered to send them back. So I had them. Linda, my ex-wife, she used to quite like me in these trousers. Uh, she just pissed off one day. Never rung me or anything. I've heard she's been done for shoplifting, which... You know, Hello? Hello? Have you finished, Tolly? You put me off my breakfast. Excuse me, mate. How much are you plastic twats? Fifty quid. Right. What do you use to, um, what do you put inside it? You cock. No, I meant to make it all slippery. Did you put, like, margarine in it or something? This tube's a KY jelly. Next to the vibrators. Yeah, but it doesn't taste of anything, does it? You're not supposed to eat it, mate. No. No, obviously. But is there anything else? Is there anything that's got a more proper fanny flavour? Yeah, a proper fanny. All right, girls, uh, my name's Nigel Tully. My mates call me Tully. I'm average, 26, divorced. I look uh, OK, normal. I haven't got a moustache, anything like that. I like takeaway meals, renting videos, and I used to have a motorbike. Sold it to a mate of mine. He didn't look after it. Still, that's another story. I have my own apartment with furniture, fridge, etc., gas central heating. And I'm really looking for a girl who enjoys dirty sex acts. Any size, any age, any colour. No sex change, people. I must specify that. And I like putting jam on people. I've got to get that across here. It's very important. So please send photos to my box number or leave a message if you want strawberry jam put on your areas. I will, of course, buy you a drink and a meal. That's about it, girls. Get dialing now. OK. Three women at once. Everybody's got a few cans of beer in that fridge for later on. My cousin's been killed in a car crash. Was he? Yeah. Nice bloke he was. He lent us 500 quid the other week. I won't have to pay that back now, will I? No, if somebody dies, it's their fault, isn't it? Yeah. Shame for his wife and kid and that, but for me personally, it's worked out all right. Here we are, look. Nice. Hello, girls. Fuck off. Come on, fellas, just get it over with. Tell him his dad's dead or I'm going to be late. I can't do it, Dave. All right, leave it to me. I'm pretty good at this sort of thing. Do you know your dad used to be alive? Well, 
It's not anymore. Where's Mummy? Good point. Where's his mum? She's in a coma. Do you want an ice cream? Come on, then. Dear Ruth, you cowbag, I know you are enjoying this situation, messing me about and getting all this attention. I notice you've now changed all your telephone numbers, your mobile, your home number and your extension at work, as well as your email addresses and both fax numbers. When they ask you why, I can just imagine you saying, there's this man who's obsessively in love with me, you know how it is. I bet you let everyone know about me because it makes you look really good. In demand, wanted by men. Well, you better make the most of it. You've got the kind of face that isn't going to age very well. Fat cheeks and piggy eyes. In a couple of years, you'll be ringing me up. You'll be desperate and I'll say, you had your chance, darling, but you blew it. Now go away and be ugly and fat. And lonely. You'll keep this letter in a box as a souvenir of the times when you could attract men. You know this is true. And that new boyfriend of yours, I know for a fact he's seeing somebody else. All the best, Jeremy. Send you back in a fucking carrier bag. See how she likes that. Don't move. Yeah. I'd like this situation then, eh? You scared? You fucking scared? Are you? This was a really stupid thing to do. All right, put your hands up if you're going to be shagging two women this afternoon. 
Oh, yeah? Just got a message from Poppy. Can't believe it. I'm having a threesome today. Can I come? No. It wouldn't be a threesome then, would it? No, but... Congratulations, mate. Cheers. Yeah, nice one, Dave. Cheers, Tom. I can't believe it. A threesome. You deserve it, mate. Yeah, I do, don't I? The parking out round here, it's hopeless. You should have permit parking or something. If you want to go in there with Kevin, I'll only be a minute. Right. Kevin? Who's Kevin? It's a threesome, Dave. You need three people? Yeah, but I thought it would be me and two women. Yeah, I bet you did. All right, mate. All right. Where did you park? Actually, uh, I got the bus. My car's off the road at the minute, so I had uh, a bump. I've been driving around for ages. I haven't kept you waiting, have I? No, I got here early. You know, to uh, soak up the atmosphere. Turn off the mobile. Yeah. <laughs> How do they work these things? I wouldn't want to ask them to guess. <laughs> it's like space age. Well. It's all them aerials. You see them on the motorway, it's like uh, a network. Not the radio. Yeah, but the radio. How does that work? How does music travel through the air, then get into the radio and come back out again? Well, I'd imagine it's the same system as the, as the phones. Could be, yeah. I saw that Adrian Charles in the pub and I asked him about it. He didn't have a clue. And he's on the BBC. He lives near Redditch. It's a lovely house. It's quite a nice bloke, actually. Told us that uh, he's loaded, like. He said he don't get out of bed for less than two grand. He just stays in bed if no-one pays him. Yeah, I think so. His pyjamas must stink. Actually, there was a funny smell in that pub. I reckon this bed's seen a bit of action. All the joints are loose. You need uh, an Allen key. Talk them up the things that be right as right. Hello, boys. You haven't got an Allen key, have you? I got vibrators, dildos and cups. It's just... really need an Allen key. What for? What? Dave, don't worry about it. Let's... Right, yeah. No problem. Fancy a spit roast? Yeah, I do. I've only had a sandwich for me dinner. Everybody was kung fu And I like cheese, but I don't like cauliflower cheese. Same with me. I like apples and I like toffee, but I don't like toffee apples. But then, I don't like actual tomatoes, but I love tomato sauce. It's just weird. Are you two gonna shut up or what? Sorry, love. <laughs> it's Dave. Cheers, mate. I don't care who it is, just shut up and concentrate. I'm doing all the work here. Let's just get it finished. I can't. Finish just like that. I need some stimulation. Come on, Dave, let's step it up again. You got any porn mags? Just put some elbow grease into it. <sighs> hey, there you go. What is it? I won't bite you. Put me photos back. Oh. Oh, right. What do you think of that? What is it? The moon? It looks like 
the surface of the moon. How can it be the moon? I haven't been to the moon, have I? Well, I don't know. It's my arse. Oh, right. Got one of them throw me bay cameras, you know. Yeah, guess what that is. Oh, Jesus. I get that one enlarged. Listen, Joan, I've got a... Do um... you want to take your trousers down? No, no. Why really. not? It's cold. Well, I'll put the fire on. There's a hell of a draft coming from this door. I've got a new bra. Look, Joan, the thing is, I, I like living here and everything. It's just, I don't want to... It is a nice bra. Shall we strangle the hamster? Oh, I just want some more. Crazy paving. This ain't crazy paving, Bellis. This is just shit. I was, I was trying to, you know, just... You haven't got, like, any artistic vision here, have you? It's just a random fucking big mess. It's crazy paving, Dave. You just bung slabs down on the floor. Nah, it's... I think you focus too much on the crazy aspect and not enough on the paving side of it. Have you come round here just to have a go at my crazy paving? No, What but... do you want, then? Nothing. Standing on the string. What type of concrete are you using? Because you know there's different types, don't you? I'm not being funny, Dave, but you're getting on my nerves. I'm just saying there's different types of concrete. Use the wrong one and you're fucked. It's just ordinary concrete. Tolly is driving me round the twist. He never stops wanking. I just don't get out of the... You want to try living here with Joan? 24 hours a day, it's either blowjobs or crazy paving. Look at us. Half 11 on a Saturday morning. It ain't right. We're young blokes. We shouldn't be stood here like this. We, we should be living lives to the full. We, we should be down the pub. Threesome's had a great innovation, no question of that. The other bloke being there that, you know, I'd rather it were me and two women, but that's more difficult to organise. Yeah, women get a bit knocked when you try and involve another bird. They take umbrage. I don't want to sound like a complete puff, but I used to like talking to my wife. Did you? I know, it's weird, but, you know, a little face there chatting away, and then you say something, you know, like, pretending that you're listening. It's nice when a woman looks at you like that, you know, appreciative. That's what I'm going to miss. Are you all right, mate? Yeah, yeah, I'm just at that stage in my life where I just feel, you know, really... Hungry. Please enter your four digit number. Welcome to the sexy singles call exchange. Your personal fun box is empty. I want one of them golden showers. I want you to like piss on me. Then I want to do a 69. But, but then before that, I want to put some of this strawberry jam on your twat so I can lick it off. Then I want another girl with a strap-on dildo shagging me up the arse while you're doing yourself with a vibrator, and then you both toss me off. How much will that bud? Well, let's see. Give me prices. Customer providing our own jam. Double toss-off plus that. Let's call it 200. 200 pounds? Well, that's cheap. Bloody hell. How much did you want to spend? What'd you get for 20 quid? I'll show you my tits. That's 20 quid? I'll get 13 pints of beer for 20 quid. Well, go on, then. All right, then I will. Good. Yeah, and I'll toss myself off for free. Thank you very much. Don't forget your jam. Oh, yeah. Thanks, love. Can I see your ass for a fiver? No. All right. Try then, love. Try out a bit.
coming for a pint? Come on, mate. Going down to the hospital. Take a message to see his mum. The one in the coma with the big tits? Yeah, that's that. I bet there's some cracking nurses down there. There is, mate. That's where I'm going. You know what nurses are like? Buy my drink and some chips, and they'll do anything. She's much thinner than before. I don't think they eat much in a coma. They don't eat anything, do they? I thought it was just like astronaut food down the pipe. Yeah, that's it. That's it, I think. You reckon they're quite big? Oh, yeah. Not bad. Nice. I need the toilet. Yeah, what do you want? Number one or number two? Number three. Come on, Matthew. Take Matthew down the shop, get him some sweets. All right, mate. Love. Yeah, thank you. You remember Ferris, don't you, Mum? Huh? Ferris, remember Julie's husband, the wedding? Hello, oh, Rose. How you doing? The taxi's here, Mum. Ferris. Oh, yes, Ferris. You got everything? Have you got your stick? Joan says you've got a big cock. Mum! What? Show it to her, Ferris. What? Show her your thing. No. Ferris, she doesn't get out much. She's practically bedridden. Oh, come on, Ferris. Joan. Don't be such a spoil sport, Ferris. You've had a lot of generosity from this family, living here rent-free. Don't ask for much in return. Well, hurry up. Wow. I told you. When I mean, it's stiff, it's like a rolling pin. Can I touch it? Yeah, go and have a feel. Oh. oh. If I was 50 years younger... Put it in your mouth. John? Well, I, I can't get down there with my back. He'll stand on a chair. Stand on a chair, Ferris. I'm not standing on a chair. Taxi, for Rose. He's coming, love. Has he gone to get a chair? No, he's... Oh. Oh. Come on, let's get you home. They'll be wondering where you've got to. It's shepherd's pie tonight. Ooh, look at you. You can't stay here long. No, I know. It's only for a couple of nights. I was thinking of buying my own place, but if I just move them jars of gherkins out of the way, I could sleep on that shelf. Well, if I'm going to do you a favour, there might be a favour you can do for me. All right, then, yeah. No problem. Not that fool, you bitch. I feel like a right con doing this. Oh, keep going! Keep going! Oh. That's pretty clean now. Go on. 
Clever boy, but come on, do another one. <laughs> Where'd you learn to do that? I love you, Bobby. You're just such a smashing little dog. I'm sorry I tried to kill you. I wouldn't do it now. I just really want to, you know, go to the park with you and spend all my time with you. I love you, Bobby. You're just a fantastic little dog, aren't you? Bobby? Bobby! Bobby, come back! Come on, where are you going? Bobby! When we touch, I hear angels sing. This is Bobby. Say hello. All right, mate. You know what you get from a dog? Dog shit. Unconditional love. Is it yours? Actually, it's Ruth's. She's away. She's in Switzerland. So I'm looking after little Bobby. Well, don't, you know, while she's away, don't start shagging it, cos she'll find out. I always find out. What's his name? Uh, Bobby, like Bobby Dazzler. Uh -huh. <laughs> Say hello, Bobby. Say hello to. Um... Oh, I'm Shelley. This is um, Crystal. Hello, Crystal. Stop. Don't do that, Crystal. Bobby, stop it! Crystal, stop it! Bobby, stop it! I lived in uh, Africa for a while. Yeah. Out there, you soon learn to respect wild animals, you know. Lions, tigers, hippos. Whereabouts in Africa were you? The uh, safari district. Right, yeah. Mm. I'd love to go on a safari. It was Kenya where I was. You'd love it there. It's like solid jungle, you know. You open your curtains in the morning, there's like giraffes everywhere. <laughs> I love animals. So do I. The great. <laughs> Bobby? Are you a Capricorn? Bobby! Bobby! Who is it? Oh, shit. Tell me what, what, what is it? Oi! You! Be nice to go out for a drink or something. Yes, please. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. My dog, did he? <laughs> what are you doing? It's the gherkin, Mum. What's this all about? Ten a night of him, he's just a potato man. What's he doing up there? Trying to get some sleep, actually. So if you just want to deliver your gherkins and piss off... Don't tell me to piss off or I'll come there and smack your face in for you. All right, mate. Don't have to get all... Forget him. He's just a prat. I'm not taking any lip from a potato, man. I know. It's OK. You sorry for them gherkins, love? Hang on a minute. That's my shelf. Hey, potato man. You've been messing about with my gherkins. No, this is... It's a vinegar shelf. I don't think so. They're just shelves. Can everybody just leave it? Listen, potato boy, you keep your hands off my gherkins, all right? See you in a fortnight, love. Yeah, OK. What's all that about? Look what you've done now. You've upset the gherkin man. Do you know what? This is all bollocks. You treat this place like an hotel. It's about time you realise, Ferris, this is a chip shop and don't you forget it. Yeah, well, if that's how you want it, then... I've got flowers. I've got chocolates for a special girl. What are you after? Nothing. Thought we could go for a walk. I haven't really had time to talk to you that much. So that's your game, is it? Talking? I thought it'd be nice, just me and you. Have a nice... Conversation. Go for a quick walk around the park. Dave, I hardly know you. I'm not just going to go walking around the park with you. All right, then. Forget it. I'm having a few people around next week for group sex, if you're interested. No, I... I think I'm busy that day. What day is it? Tuesday. No, I... I don't think so, you know. Please yourself. Right, well, I'd better make a move. Yeah, see ya. Yeah. 
I've always fancied you. Have you? Yeah. You've got your own house, haven't you? Yes. How many bedrooms you got? Three. Why? I bet it's nice and clean, isn't it? I've only got half an hour, you know. Right, OK. Well, I thought, you know, we'd start with some penis work. Like what? How does a blowjob sound? I don't do that. Of course you do. <laughs> no, I don't like it. But it's great. It's standard procedure. Would you do it? Yes, I would, if it'd make the other person happy. Well, not me. What if I put strawberry jam on it? You're only a potato man. I'm not doing anything weird. What do you mean, only a potato man? You've really spoiled the atmosphere now. Yeah, well, you smell the chips, but I wasn't going to say anything. You know what you are? A stupid idiot. Your hair smells of pickled onions. Yeah, well, you've got a horrible face. I'm not going to get anything out of you, am I? Not now, no. I'm sorry, love. Look, I'll settle for a job. You'll be lucky. Well, how about some free chips? Piss off, Dave. What do you reckon my chances are with? What's it? I won't get your hopes up, Dave. She's only been out the coma a couple of weeks. Spence still be pissed off about her husband being dead and that. So you're saying play it cool sort of thing? Yeah, I can do that. It's lovely and clean, isn't it? It's a nice house you've got here, Ellen. Thanks. Steve's pretty good with the decorating. That was one of his things. I'm sorry for you about what happened to him. I'm all the way apart, look. It's terrible. I heard it was a really nice car and all. What was it? A Renault? So we'd just come round, see how you are. If there's anything we can do. Well, thanks for the potatoes. There's plenty more where they come from. We'll see you all right, don't you worry about that. Oh, and that 500 pounds you owe us, Ferris, I could really do with it right now. If you've got it, that is. Of course, yeah. It must be really difficult for you right now. But no use crying over spilt milk, is there? You've got to... You need a man about the place. Yeah, well, Phil's been very good to me the past few weeks. Phil? <coughs> Phil who? All right, lads. What are you doing here? I live here. Since when? Phil delivers biscuits to the hospital. That's how we met. How's your biscuit, Dave? Ferris? No. So... How's life been treating the potato men? Look out, there's a wasp! Where? Ferris, the gherkin man means nothing to me. I was just trying to make you jealous. Seeing you with that other girl made me realise you're not a bad bloke, really. Yeah, well, I didn't even know her name, to be honest. That was just a... I can see I was making a go of it, you know. Not just shagging in this crappy old storeroom all the time. I'm talking about something more. Like what? I could do it lying down, on a bed. I like the sound of that. My husband's away for a few days. Why don't you come back to the house tonight? We've got a nice big double bed, fluffy carpets, and if you bring some cans of beer, I'll bring some leftover pies, and we'll make a night of it. Ice? Uh... She's better than that stink old stock room, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right. When's your husband back? I'm oh, not for ages. Monday, I think. It's a long drive from Poland. What's she doing there? Smuggling. Smuggling? Yeah, smuggling. Motorbikes. Is he? I'm thinking of buying a moped. Help! I thought he was in Poland. Um. Listen, Ferris. You breathe one word of this to anybody, you're dead. Right? OK. I'll, I'll just get dressed and go and... You ain't going anywhere. You finish what you started. How do you mean? Come on, get on with it. Shag my wife, Ferris, or you're in big trouble. <laughs> Don't make me come out there, Ferris. I'm warning you. 
I hope my husband doesn't catch us. This is a boulder. Shut up, Ferris. <laughs> you said it was a pirate. In a fucking wardrobe. If he finds out, he's gonna punish me real bad. You want me to finish telling you? Oh, use me. Use me. Like the slutty wife I am. That should fucking do it. Will I be an old prisoner? No! Well, a little bit. But it's just a game. Is it? Look! Any more shit from you, sunshine, and I'll drown you in the bath like I did that sack full of kittens. That really turned me on. What? It's a game. You're not gonna drown me, are you? I'll punch you in the fucking face if you don't shut it, sunshine. Sex with me. Not like this. This is. This is how I like it. Next time we'll do whatever you want. I'll do anything you want. Think of something. There is one or two things we'll mind trying. There's some right stuff in store for you over the next couple of weeks, Fetty. Oh, yes. Some really fucked up shit. Get him down in the basement. Come on. <laughs> you got a full table. <laughs> Come on. If I can't see you, you can't see me. If my husband walks in here now, what? We're dead. The road breaks, we're dead. Oh, oh who wants to a minute yet? Oh, oh God, no. Oh. Oh. I had to park bloody miles away. And they've dug up old Ford Road again. Got the Allen key, by the way. I wonder I couldn't get parked. Ah. You with a couple more girls in here, couldn't we? Yeah. Where did you park then? Right outside, got here early. Is that your Ford Galaxy out there, the blue one? Yeah. What's it like, guys? It's a decent motor, yeah. Feels safe. You know what I mean? For the kids in there. <laughs> it's <laughs> It's all gone. There's wine. Wine? He drinks fucking wine? How much longer are you gonna be, mate? There's people queuing up here. What number you got? Five. Well, you're all right. Eleven? It's typical. What are you come here for? This is where I met Vicky. It's a good night in here, isn't it, Saturday? Oh, it's only quarter past one. It's like a trip down memory lane for me, this. At least it would be if I could remember anything about it. I'd had a few that night. Never gonna pick up any birds in here, mate. Be all right, we'll have a couple of pints and then, uh, it'll pick up a bit later.
right, look. Yeah? The washing machine, there's still water coming out of it. Probably a, a leak of some kind. How have you been? Great. Everything's great. You know, things are really starting to... They're continuing to be great. So, uh, you all right then? Yeah? You all right? Yeah, great. Everything's great. You know, if you want me back, I can move in straight away. Let's just leave things as they are. Whatever it is you want me to do, I'll do it. At Tolly's, there's never anything to eat. He's dirty. I want to come home. I don't want to live with Tolly. I want to live here with you and Katie. Well, you can't. Why not? It's not as simple as that. You know, the person I feel sorry for in all this is me. Whatever that woman told you about me, it's not true. You stole her dog. <laughs> that boyfriend of hers, he's not right in the head. I never stole any dog. That's... no... Actually, yes, I did steal the dog, but... you can't know what I went through with all that. I've got my own dog now. She messed me about rotten. I was just trying to get my own back. I know what you're thinking, but... you don't know what I've been through with that woman. Come on, Spike. No, I, I do. I do know what you've been through. I know exactly how you feel. Do you? How do you mean? He'd been seeing her for five weeks. I didn't even twig. I just thought that's not right. And then I found out he was taking her to Paris for the weekend. I still had the keys to his house, so I went round there. I went into the kitchen and I got some of Crystal's, you know, dog mess that I'd collected in the park. And before that, I'd collected quite a lot from other dogs. I put some in the blender, added some water and... Um, Colin had this high-powered water pistol and I knew it was a mad thing to do, but after the way he treated me, I just didn't care. I just thought, fuck him. I did every room in the house. That was a year ago. I can still smell it. <laughs> yeah, well, nothing smells quite like a house full of dog shit. <laughs> With, um, with Ruth, I, I told her I was a dentist. I kept it up for months. She thought it was great. I told her I had my own dental practice. And her mum and dad were pretty impressed as well. But when she found out I worked in the potato distribution business, which is what I do, she went spare, called me a liar. Fair enough, I suppose. A few days later, she rang me up. But that was that. I tried to talk to her, but she wasn't having any of it. I don't care anymore, anyway. I'm a potato man. That's what I do. Doesn't make me a bad person. Would you like to see my horse? <laughs> Ayatollah, my name's Gloria. 
I really like your message. You sound like you're up for a laugh. Um, Fucking yes! yes! This is very nice, Gloria. Thanks for this. Good idea, get to know each other. I've been to a party for ages. How come? Dunno. Don't get invited to any. Gloria, hello. Come on in. Nice to see you. I told you I'd make it. Come on, mate. Been swimming? Don't matter. Is this what I think it is? Depends. What do you think it is? Well, it's obviously some sort of towel party. It's a sex party. Fucking hell. Honestly. I have heard about these. It's like anything goes sort of thing, innit? It's like a big orchard. Brilliant. What a sight. It's got a certain style. Hits the spot. Hits it right. Take your chance. Don't miss out, it's oh, so God. near. Grab it, now's the time, cause it's here. Black is sure. Served right up for you. One tasty dish, it's a cure. Keep on track. And now it's right on stream. It'll keep you ahead of the pack. Was that then? Was that what you wanted? Yeah, it was great, yeah. Thanks. You don't sound very happy about it. Eh? No, I'm just, you know. Do you want to do it some more? No, that was. That was it. You do with a cup of tea, actually. All this jam. Sleeping in now, are you? Yeah. That chip shop. I got my fingers burnt there, mate. Did you? Yeah. Look. I'm trying to get a pound coin out of the fat fryer. Bet it hurts. Did. And I nearly got beat up by Big Fat Gordon. I've warned you about him. Did he catch you with his missus then, did he? Yeah, something like that. You want to keep a low profile? I'm gonna. Anyway, have a look at this. What do you reckon? Oh, magic. <laughs> Funky moped. I see what's going on here. You've had enough of women for the time being, and uh, it's just going to be you in the moped for a bit, so you, you're expressing yourself in a different way. No, mate. This is a fanny magnet. I'm going to be knee-deep in pussy with this thing. What did it cost you? Nothing. I brought it off a mate of mine. I'm thinking of buying it, though. Do you reckon I should get one? It's up to you. Just go, then. <laughs> That's the accelerator. Yeah, no! Stay in it! Yeah. Oh, fuck! Hey, oh, fuck! Just say a situation occurred that was out of your hands. You know, human error. Police are sat on it. That'll do. He's 24, he'll understand. You should pay for the repairs. Here he comes, just that normal. All right, Ferris. All right, Beans. So what do you think, then? You buy me more, Ped? Um... What do you think, Dave? I'm going for the piss. It's hardly done any miles. It's a bargain. Yeah, all right, then. I'll have it. Nice one, Ferris. I'll see you later on in the week. I've got to get off on with Debs. Yeah, I'll sit up with you when I see you. Sorted. Here you go. Piss off, Dave. Leave me to sort it out. I want a word with you. Outside. She's in the back seat. You want me to give her one? Yeah. Where are you gonna be? Never get mine. What you waiting for? What's some of this? Hey? Eh? Get in there. Come on!
I'm gonna have flat beer because of you. If my husband finds out about us in the back of his car, doing it doggy style, he'll put me across his knee. This is the last time I'm doing this. Use me, use me. You're using me. Shut up, Ferris, you tart. Just think of my big fat husband. And what he'll do to me if he finds out. My big fat husband. Right, that's it. I've had enough of this. Ferris? Ferris! Dave. Come here. Tell him, Dave. Tell him to leave me alone. He said no deal with me, Freddy's. Get back in the car, you! Dave, I'm asking you to help me. What are you doing in there, Gordon? None of your business. Dave. What? I don't even know what's going on here. You keep your mouth shut, Ferris. No, Gordon. I don't care if you beat me up. I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah, but we'll see about that. No. If I carry on doing this, stuff like this, it's going to put me off sex for life, and that's not going to happen. OK, my sex life is all I've got. I'm not doing it, Gordon. Yeah, you tell him, Felix. If you've got a problem with that, me and Dave are going to beat you up, aren't we, Dave? Dave. Yeah, that's right. D don't mess with the potato men. You're a pair of fucking idiots. Yeah, well, you're locked in the boot of your car. Better let him out so I can go mad. Yes, I say. You dickhead. What? Just open the boot to show there's no hard feelings. Why don't you both just fuck off? All right, we will. Come on, Dave. Hey, that garden is baffled, went, didn't it? Yeah, it was when you said don't mess with the potato, man. Yeah, I wish I hadn't said that now. It sounds stupid. You're going to have to get that moped repaired. Yeah, I'll pay for it. Good. I'm still thinking of buying it. Fuck it, I'm going to buy it. I'm buying a moped, Dave. It's got a big dent in it. Don't care. I'm buying a moped. What's going on? Not you again! What do you want, Ferris? Nothing. Thought you might like to see my moped. He's got a massive cock. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Um, I just want to say thanks for coming at short notice to this occasion to celebrate that me and Shelley have got engaged. Hey. Um, it's been a whirlwind romance. We're both madly in love. Uh, Shelley's what I've been looking for all my life, and she's got what she's always been looking for. A potato man. Hey! Seriously, uh, thanks. Um, here's to me and Shelley. Yeah. Oh, there's plenty of crisps and nuts if you, uh, you want to... Uh... Getting on like that, Shelley, ain't you? She keeps looking over her. I think she fancies me. Don't be stupid. Why can't I find a nice, sensible girl like that? Yeah, I know. It's not fair, is it? Moving my stuff into toilets tonight. Yeah, you like it. He's uh, got a nice place. It's good timing for me, actually, you moving out and that. I needed to move on. Start a new chapter. Make a fresh start. Sleeping in the van? Yeah. Be all right. It's only for a couple of nights, though, cos uh, they can find somewhere new. It's temporary, but it's better than the van. Where's that, then? What? Bluey green's always been my favourite colour. It's very, um, It's very nice, John. And it's see-through. Yeah, that reminds me I'm gonna have to trim that hedge. Ready for another one? Not really. I've really got to have a decent break between each one or else I'll injure myself. I'll tell you what, I'll do a bit of crazy paving for an hour. Sod the crazy paving. I've got needs. John, honestly, I'm drained. I need to get some fresh air. What about a quick shower? No, thanks.
poor chicken. <laughs> what are you doing? It's so you don't have to walk up grass. It's called crazy paving. It's funny looking. It's nice. Paris told me you were here. He came out to see me. He's worried about you. Is he? Yeah. Nate's living at Tolly's place. All the horrible smells and rats. He's got rats. Could do with a bit of a clean up that place. If you come back, I'm not standing for any nonsense. I know. You're a dad, and that's what you've got to be. Yeah, that's what I want to do. And you've got to help me. I will, I swear. Come on, Katie. We've got to go. You come in. I think. Late like starter. Well, I was well. What about you, Tolly? When did you have your first one? Oh, uh, half past seven. Then another one about quarter to nine. Here's a film back, mate. What's that, Lord of the Rings? No. Spunk guzzlers drenched in piss. Oh, cheers. Paul, you can't beat it. You know, they spend millions making these normal films with special effects in that. I reckon 99% of people would rather watch hardcore porn than any other type of film. I think you're right. If you were on a desert island and you can only have one film, you're not going to want Return of the fucking Jedi, are you? You want one with a bird in it, with a nice juicy fanny and a big bird of tits. It's common sense, isn't it? You know what I'd like? I'd like to be able to detach me knob, you know, take it right off. Then I could get both ends sucked at once. I'd like to get a giant panda, kill it, then fuck it. Why do you want to do that? <laughs> if you don't kill it, it's going to bite you. Oh, they like mool, yeah? Pandas. I think it's all that black and white fur and that great big ass. Has anyone seen my dog?
I'll go.